Hey everyone, it's your old friends Rob and Leslie from the Chateau Chateau de la Griffre. Uh, in the distance, you can see Leslie is working on flowers. Um, we have had a really hard time getting videos up because we are so darn busy. We had two sessions of students. It's been amazing. They've been fantastic. We've got 20 great ones. It's our second session, but we've been so tired. It's been really hard for us to get videos going. Um, so we have a lot of material. More videos are going to come, uh, but I thought I'll just go shoot a quick one quick one today and I'll kind of shoot it um, live so there's not a lot of editing and we'll get it up. We've had quite um, an adventure with our mower. In fact, there's going to be a mower episode coming out and this guy's given us lots of difficulty and so um, uh, so there's good news on the front and I'll save that for the other video but for today we're going to take this deck off. We're going to try to make we're going to try to make um, uh, like a homemade kind of box scraper like something that will drag the weeds off because we got this beautiful beautiful area that surrounds the chateau and it's just kind of growing in with weeds and we just want to, um, you can't see it over there, but we want to, we want to drag it and we want to clean it up and find a, an efficient way to do that on a regular basis. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to give it a shot tonight. It's kind of rainy, so I can't work too much outside anyways. I'm going to go in under the, under the protective cover here of the restaurant roof and also go over to the stables and uh, we'll see what we can get done. Should be fun. All right, 15 minutes later. We got the deck off. Honestly, the deck has taken such a beating over the years. The front has, uh, I whacked, you know, we whacked so many times into stumps, little hidden stumps. And I think we got most of them now, but you can't even see it. But if you look down there, it's just taking a beating and it's almost several parts are starting to wear out. So we may, we may have to just get a new deck eventually. But for now, we're gonna use this bad boy as a tractor. We're gonna repurpose it for some stuff. So let's have some fun. Okay, here we are at the stables where I have some uh, fencing and stuff, and we have our first attempt. Now, admittedly, this was just like maybe a 30 minute attempt, so we'll see how well it works. And I didn't, I didn't spend any money, completely free. So what I got, a bunch of cut fence poles, some fence, some wire, like, I think these straps were a few dollars. So I'm gonna see if this is gonna work. We're gonna drag it around. We're gonna see if it pulls any weeds. Apparently, a lot of them use fencing like this, and the, the wires just, uh, apparently, they pull stuff up. We'll see. The fence poles are just for a little bit of weight. May do nothing, but we'll know shortly. Okay, so that didn't work at all. It was a complete waste of time. I'm not even going to show you video from that scraper. Like, I get the idea. You know, it was supposed to scrape off the weeds. It didn't scrape off any weeds. None at all, like zero. So I was just driving around like a buffoon. So we we're 0 for 1 on uses for the MTD. What are we going to do? It won't mow. We want to use it still. It's, you know, we could try to sell it, but probably we wouldn't get a ton for it. So then we thought, well, maybe we could pull a trailer. And so I started looking. Trailers like five, 600 bucks, you know, 1,000 bucks. And, and the bigger problem is how do you even get a trailer to the house? Then, amazingly, we found one for 100 bucks at a brocant. 100 bucks. And it dumps. And it's small. And we were able to take off the uh the car hitch so that it could go behind it can either go on a car technically or uh we can get it so that it goes behind the garden tractor so super helpful uh and uh, even better my son david came out and so he was able to drive it around and we moved some really heavy stuff big radiators uh we moved a bunch of toilets we moved a ton of dirt uh garbage you're always trying to move stuff here at the chateau and a lot of times i was just throwing it in the car and the car would get super dirty so this was so much better. And big thanks to David too for uh, lifting some heavy stuff and doing a lot of shoveling of dirt. So yeah, we found a use for it, but we still had the problem how we're gonna mow the lawn. The MTD's not working and we need something bigger. You know, working in a, working in a place like this in a chateau is uh, no small job. You, got, you know, everything's big. Your lawns are big, problems are big. Love this big umbrella pine, you know. Like, it looks like we have a branch coming down there that's maybe dead a little bit. We gotta cut that off, but that's gonna be really hard. It's up high. So, it's, you know, it's always challenging. Even a lot of the big trees, you know, you can see the brush kind of grows around them. So we gotta clear all that out. Lots to do. Or sometimes bigger problems. Like, you know, we had this guy come down. And that, if we go over there, is quite massive. Like that's, uh, you know, those are, those are big, big, big branches. So it's, it's been fun and also challenging. Now I love mowing and I've had so much fun mowing on the yard, but uh, one of the things that's been really challenging is that 
the yard's big and sometimes you run into stumps and things like that. And we had, I, when I first got here, we bought a mower and I liked the mower a lot. We just went to kind of like the local Home Depot, La Roi Merlin, Leroy Merlin and uh, the King, King Merlin in French. Big, huge store, kind of like Home Depot. And, uh, and I kind of got one of the better ones there, but it wasn't super expensive, a couple thousand. And I was hoping it would be good enough. You know, the mowers, a lot of them are smaller than you'd find in North America, for example. And so it was good, but it was also uh, a little bit undersized. And so what happens, it kept breaking down. You remember, perhaps you remember seeing videos of, uh, you see videos of me going through grass that was taller than the mower when COVID kept us away. And so sometimes you'd have to drive over it several times and it kept breaking down and it kept breaking down. And so this is really a gratefulness post. Um, we, uh, I had a friend, we had a friend in, uh, in the United States who has really, he's got his own nonprofit uh, ministry and he, uh, you know, is getting close to retirement. And so he's, he decided to support us a little bit and help us out. And so he called us the other day and said, Hey, what do you guys need right now? What do you, what do you need? And I said, man, you know what we need is a better mower because our mower is just too small. It breaks. Um, you know, by the end, uh, by the end, honestly, I was spending, you know, we'd mow for a couple hours and I'd have to fix something two or three times. And on the upside, we started figuring out what was breaking, but it just, it just was not big enough and it wasn't strong enough and the metal wasn't thick enough. So you hit something and it would bend and they couldn't cut stuff. And so we went out and got this guy. He, he, uh, he goes, I have a, I have a donor who might like to help you guys. And so he sent us a check and we were able to buy this mower and I am so grateful i love this thing so much more efficient like it it um instead of having to turn around all the time when every time you're going around a corner i i i think probably it takes about half the amount of time it used to like it, it used to take maybe a day and a half to mow the whole lawn certainly a day and uh, now i can get her done real quick probably about half the time it's also more enjoyable it's got um you know the suspension kind of system so that you know the whole thing kind of like when you're going over these bumps it just kind of the whole thing kind of rocks and, and it's just kind of like a gentle wave before it was like bang bang your head's shaking around and so that has been absolutely fantastic so i guess all this to say this is a gratefulness post i'm super thankful uh for the help of friends uh in doing what we're trying to do and i am super super thankful for having the right tools which is so important in life